Hello friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello friends, you know that Azure system is a closed cycle consisting of different processes. It is starting from compressor and from the compressor, high pressure and lower temperature freon gas is compressed to the condenser. From the condenser, phase change occurs and from it, it is passing to the collector, then to the dryer dryer to the expander and from expander to the evaporator and again from the evaporator it is passing to the compressor we have planned to uh, conduct four different simulations for this continuous process we have done already three different processes first one was from compressor to the condenser and second one we have conducted from condenser to the dryer and third one was dryer to the expander and uh, today we will conduct the last one that is from expander to the evaporator so in each case we have considered the output of one stage as the input of the second stage one okay so in the third video we have conducted a simulation from dryer at the end of the drive we have found that the pressure of freon gas was 0.12 megapascal and temperature was minus 63.15 degrees centigrade without wasting time let us simulate this evaporator we have already provided leads at the input and output locations and you can see here this is the fan and these are the fins provided and these are the coils made up of copper through these coils we'll be forcing out freon gas as an input temperature of minus 63.15 degrees centigrade and pressure will be 0.12 megapascal okay so let's start simulation and simulation environment will be created with the initiation of wizard itself so we are starting from wizard uh, let us select the default project as project 2 we are considering unit system as SI and pressure will be in megapascal and temperature as usual will consider as degree Celsius. Next, uh, let us consider this one as an external analysis and it will be heat conduction in solids and definitely gravity will be involved in this case and the direction of gravity you can see it will be can see from here the direction of gravity it will be in the y direction so it will be minus 9.81 meter per second square and along z direction it will be 0 meter per second square next we want to consider gases as air and freon gases let us take air and freon will be taken from these fuel gases it will be freon r123 Next, material will consider different materials for the fins. It will be aluminum alloys, and for the and the tubes will consider as copper. So, metals will select as copper, and fins will be provided during application of boundary conditions. Next, default roughness parameters we are considering. Next, Atmospheric pressure is 0 0.101325 megapascal and temperature will be 20 degree centigrade. And the solid parameters definitely it will be 20 degree centigrade. And concentration it will be inside these copper tubes it will be having only refrigerant. So the concentration of refrigerant will be 100%. That is 1 and that of air will be zero because air will be flowing from outside and another thing we want to see that as the air will be flowing from outside it will be having some specific direction we can see that direction of air will be z and air will be flowing at a specific rate let us say the velocity of air will be 30 meter per second at a specific direction uh, so we can change the coordinate system also it will be z okay let's finish this part now you can see the computational domain is created it is generating it is generating the fluid volume it is the computational domain it is very large so it is suggested to reduce the computational domain to have less time for these iterations or calculations. 
so we can reduce this volume by editing computational domain let's go for editing so computational domain is ready green check now we can hide this part and go for applying our boundary conditions we have to provide solid materials so insert solid material predefined fence will be made up of aluminum alloys so we will take aluminum 6061 for the fence let us rotate this part to select this fence so excluding these copper tubes all are selected as aluminum alloys green check next we have to provide material for these tubes solid materials insert solid material predefined metals it will be copper for these tubes so select that tube green check so we have provided both the materials next we have to apply fan and also must it at a specific rate from the input locations okay so we are providing the fan at this moment it will come from conditions fan it will be external inlet fan and predefined we we'll select axial fan and for fan we are having different combinations or different companies different organizations we will select jmc fans let us select fan with higher diameter selected green check now we have to apply freon from this input location at a specific rate and a specific temperature so boundary conditions insert boundary condition mass rate of freon will be 0.1 kg per second and thermodynamic parameters it will be as mentioned before it will be pressure will be 0.12 megapascal and temperature will be minus 63.15 degree centigrade and substance concentration will be 100 percent freon so refrigerant r123 is one and air is zero let us select that location for these freon gases select select other uh, let us select that lead number two selected grand check now the second one that means the uh, exit of this evaporator it will be having atmospheric pressure at this exit location boundary conditions insert boundary condition and it will be environmental pressure at the exit location so select select other and it will be lead number one selected green check done so we have applied all the boundary conditions next we have to select some goals we can have a lot of goals but our primary aim should be to have pressure and temperature at the exit location of this evaporator right so we are selecting two surface goals goals insert surface goal when to have average temperature of fluid and total pressure at the exit location of this evaporator select select other and it is lead number one green check we have decided two different goals average temperature and average pressure at the exit location now let us run this one we're starting a new calculations you can see solver window has started iterations model preparation is going on let the iterations move on whenever it is finished we'll see the results and go for detailed analysis okay and the solver window has finished its iterations you can see the results uh, it is showing that after 504 numbers of iterations final temperature at the evaporator end is 3.47 degree centigrade let us see pressure and temperature together 
it is showing that at the end of 504 number subdivisions, pressure is 0.14 megapascal and temperature is 3.4 degrees centigrade. Okay, you can see the other detailed results and the dynamics of these flow particles from the results itself. First of all, let us see the cut plots. For viewing these cut plots and dynamics of flow particles, better to have a transparent model. Let us convert this model as transparent one. So we have to select that model. We can select all the parts and make it transparent. Now it is a transparent model. We can view the dynamics of flow particles and also cut plots in the form of pressure and temperature, etc. So let us see cut plots in the form of fluid temperature. Insert cut plots and what you see from front end, it will be fluid temperature, grid check. So better to see these things in the form of an animation. Cut plot one. Let's play. It is showing that throughout these copper tubes, the pressure and temperature will be different. You see at this moment the temperature at different colors indicating different level of temperature at different locations. So we can see here this is the input location and that one will be that one is the output location. Now we can do one thing we can change the direction from instead of front plane we can make it from right plane. So clear and hide this part and insert another cut plot and that one to see from right plane. Green check and let us animate this part. Cut plot two. Let's play. You can view these things from side view also. Let us clear and hide this part. Now I want to see surface plots. Insert surface plots and we want to see all faces and it will be temperature fluid. Green check. You can see from other side. No, actually you can see here like uh, at this location you can see at the inlet location temperature is green zone that means minus range it is and as it is approaching towards the exit location its temperature is increasing its color in the range of 4 to 12 degrees centigrade okay so it is gaining some temperature and again you can see at the top of this fin part top part of the fin it is having higher temperature in this it is in the range of uh, 4 to 12 degrees centigrade down part also same but middle part it is having different color zone four to 12 degrees centigrade it is not clearly defined it is having some big range clear and hide this part and we want to see dynamics of this flow particles okay Frame will be entering from here and it will be leaving at this location. So, flow trajectories insert and 
and we want to see temperature of fluid instead of 20 numbers let us make it 50 and let us select that location this is the location we can rotate a little bit to have the proper view of this point instead of pipes we will see in the form of arrows only so select select other and it will be lead number two selected green check particle study is running right now Now you can see the dynamics of these flow particles. The color of these flow particles indicating temperature at different locations. You can see at the entry location temperature ranges in the blue zone that means it is minus 63.15 degrees centigrade. And as it is approaching towards the end, its color is changing, indicating difference in temperature. At you can see here at the exit location, temperature is in the yellow zone, that means it is in the range of 4 to 12 degrees centigrade okay it is a mixture of brown and yellow color let us play it is showing the passage at different regions at different locations So this is exactly opposite to the condenser. Let us close this part. Clear and hide. Finally, we want to see the gold plots. insert we have decided to have two different goals that is average total pressure and average temperature fluid at the exit location select all show it is showing the results we have already seen from the solar window you can see the results after 504 numbers of iterations average total pressure is 0.14 megapascal and average temperature is 3.48 degrees centigrade minimum value is 1.21 and maximum value is 5.44 and the average temperature at the exit location of this evaporator is 3.48 degrees centigrade okay let's close this part with this analysis we are completing the series of simulations for this HVAC family we have conducted four different simulations starting from compressor to the condenser second one condenser to the dryer system via collector third one was dryer to the expander and finally the fourth one is from expander to the evaporator and finally from this evaporator it will go to the compressor again with this one we are concluding our HVAC series of simulations. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. And if you have any kind of doubts, please write to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again. Bye.